Siouxland News. The Elkport and Jefferson Huskies have put together one of their best football seasons in school history, earning the right to play for a Class 11B state championship earlier this afternoon in Vermilion. EPJ went head-to-head -head with winner in the title match, looking to finish the year with a perfect 12-0 record. After both teams held each other scoreless in the opening quarter, the Huskies went to the, game, the ground game for success, scoring the first touchdown of the contest with a one-yard run. Winner would respond to cut the lead to 7-6 to six on the next possession. However, Elk Point Jefferson continued to run the ball efficiently throughout the first half. Late in the second quarter, Noah McDermott scored on a quarterback keeper to give the Huskies a 14-6 to six lead going into the locker room and finishing with 171 rushing yards. After a scoreless third quarter, winner tied the game on the first play of the fourth, but EPJ wins 21-14 to, to claim their first ever state championship. Alex will have the full highlights and reaction from this one tonight at 10. Over in Cedar Falls, another Siouxland football team competed in the Iowa football state semifinals as the West Sioux Falcons met the Eagles of Underwood in a rematch of the 2021 state quarterfinals, this time for the right to face Van Meter in this 1A state championship. The Falcons came into the game 10-1 with their only loss of the season coming at the hands of Central Lion George Little Rock, taking on an undefeated Underwood team they've met twice before and won both matchups. West Sioux's offense got right to work against the Eagles, scoring on their first play from scrimmage with a Brady Lynott 60-yard touchdown run. And following a 31 field goal from Omar Riviera, the Falcons took a 10-0 lead into the second quarter. While the West Sioux defense kept the Eagles' offense in check, the Falcons went on to score three more touchdowns before intermission and took a 30-7 lead into halftime. Lynott had three first-half touchdowns, two on the ground and one through the air, and Colton Koopmans caught a touchdown with less than a minute to go in the half as well. Falcons have no problem with Underwood cruising to a 47-7 victory and securing a spot in next week's state title game.